for years, legend had it that the witches were executed at the highest point in town, a spot named Gallows Hill. A 19th century historian, Sidney Purley, suggested the location was lower down and closer to town. The historians agree. Gallows Hill would have been too steep for a cart and too far to attract a big enough crowd. You need to transport people from the city jail outside to some elevated place yep. where the executions can be seen as an example to everyone. Visible, but not in someone's backyard. I equate it to the crucifixion of Jesus, which took place outside the walls of Jerusalem at Golgotha, which is this rugged hillside. There was one document, which was the questioning of Rebecca Ames. Marilyn Roach has made a discovery in the 300-year-old documents. It's a courtroom interrogation of another accused witch, Rebecca Ames. She may have seen the hangings. She was asked if she was at the execution. She was at the house below the hill. She saw a few folk being executed, the house below the, the house hill. below the hill. So... By studying old maps, Marilyn thinks she's identified the house below the hill where Rebecca Ames might have seen the hanging. 19 one. number 15 and 17. 17. So and he's number 19. Number 19. Well, so the house it's was a here. laundromat. Yeah, well. Rebecca is being taken to court along the main road. At the same time, the crowd is gathered to watch John Proctor and the other accused witches hang. Her guards, I think, didn't want to miss the excitement. So they put her in one of the houses in the vicinity where she then observed people being hanged. In the 17th century, there were only a couple of houses on the street. Their map suggests that in 1692, this house would have had a clear view of high ground. Right over there, straight. But today, any view is obscured by trees. Is this really the long-lost hanging site behind an auto body repair shop off a busy street? Ben and Marilyn show their calculations to graphic artist Edmund Earl. So you're saying that you have records that there's one of these houses where you could actually see where the hangings would have been? Yes. We were most interested whether from this house, what you could see here. Edmund has taken the old maps and Ben's calculations and built a three-dimensional view of a 17th century world. There's a testimony from Rebecca Ames, who was arrested in Boxford that morning. They asked her, did you see what was going on? And she said she was in the house below the hill, somewhere along here, and she could see folks being hanged. Is it possible to see what the street view would be like if you were looking out the front door of this house? This is the house Marilyn and Ben had visited earlier. Edmund zooms his virtual camera back through the centuries. So if we go way in, sure. what do you see? Ooh. Can we look up? Oh, that's good. And there you see it. The trees are now stripped away, and the view of the high ground is clear. The team is almost certain they have located the long lost hanging site. This is the vantage point from right in front of the house. Yep. Yep. There's people up there being hanged. Exactly. 